What is time? Have you ever wondered why time only flows in one direction? We often think of time as something that's going to stay with us forever. But what if the arrow of time didn't always point towards the future? What if it could also flow backwards into the past? This concept has been pondered by scientists for centuries and has led to a variety of theories that attempt to explain why the arrow of time is only ever pointing towards the future. In this video, we'll take Take a look at some of these theories and explore why time seems to have a one-way direction. Let's dive in. Time travel has been a popular topic in science fiction and fantasy for ages, with countless stories of people shooting off into the future or back to the past. But is it really possible? According to Einstein's theory of space-time, the answer might be yes. Space-time is an inseparable concept, meaning that movement through one affects movement through the other. In other words, we can move forward or backward in either space or time. If we move forward in space, then we must also move forward in time. As science has progressed, researchers have found ways to manipulate this symmetry even further by using various tools such such as gravitational waves and black holes. This idea of manipulating space-time opens up some interesting possibilities, such as the possibility of time travel. While it's not known exactly how we would achieve this, it is theoretically possible to create a time machine that can transport us back and forth in time. Of course, there are still many questions about whether or not this is actually feasible. For now, all we can do is keep exploring and dreaming about the possibilities that Einstein's theory might bring. Ultimately, while time travel may remain an elusive dream for science fiction writers and movie makers, we should take comfort in knowing that at least according to Einstein's theory of space-time, it's a concept that doesn't violate any physical laws. Besides, time reversal symmetry is a weird phenomenon that exists in classical mechanics. It means that no matter which direction you look at the motion of an electron, you still get the same result. It's it's like if time went backwards, you could still figure out where an electron would end up. This makes physicists scratch their heads and wonder how something so seemingly impossible can happen. To understand it better, we need to look at Newton's law of motion and Coulomb's law. These equations explain exactly how electrons move through space over time. It's incredible that such simple maths can help us understand time reversal symmetry and make sense of this strange concept. We may never fully comprehend it, but it is definitely worth exploring further. But that's not all. As strange as it sounds, the laws of physics would actually allow time to move backward. But our everyday experiences tell us that this never happens. A broken glass won't put itself back together, and a dead person can't come back to life. This all comes down to an interesting concept called entropy, proposed by German physicist Rudolf Clausius, that states energy is always dispersing and spreading out until it's evenly distributed throughout its environment. This means that although the laws of physics allows for time to go backwards, Entropy prevents it from happening due to the irreversible nature of energy being dissipated over time. It appears that when it comes to time, we really are stuck going forward. Also, if we talk about entropy, it can be boiled down to the idea that everything is eventually heading towards chaos and disorder. As entropy increases, things become more disordered and eventually reach a maximum level at which point it starts to spiral into total disarray. This phenomenon does not discriminate. No matter how much effort we put in or what kind of controls we may have in place, entropy still reigns supreme. Einstein was right when he said that entropy is an inevitable part of nature. Its influence is felt everywhere throughout the universe, and there's nothing we can do about it. But while this law of physics may seem depressing, it should also remind us of the beauty found in the most seemingly mundane objects and processes. 
Einstein referred to the law of entropy increase as the first law of science, as it shows the inevitable decline of the structure of things. For example, a house that has been left in disrepair will become dilapidated. A clean room will become messy if it's not clean. And a cup of hot water will eventually become cold if it's left standing. All things move from order to chaos, and this process is irreversible. This process is also related to the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can be transformed from one form to another, but it cannot be created or destroyed. However, it's impossible to fully charge a 5,000 milliamp hour mobile phone with a 5,000 milliamp hour power bank due to the law of entropy increase, which states that some energy is always wasted during the transformation process and cannot be recovered. This wasted energy is known as entropy. So have you heard of heat death? It's kind of a scary thought. But basically, it's when the entropy of the universe reaches its maximum value and everything has been converted into heat energy. Everything will be at the same temperature and there won't be any more energy to do work. But you know, sometimes things seem like they're set in stone and then we learn more and realize they're not. Well, that's kind of what happened with heat death. Ludwig Boltzmann was a physicist who said that entropy increases aren't totally irreversible. He explained how the second law of thermodynamics, which is all about heat and energy, works using statistics. He used the example of a container with gas on one side and a vacuum on the other. If you remove the barrier in the middle, the gas will fill the whole container and the entropy, or the degree of disorder, will increase because there are more possible positions for each gas molecule and more arrangements overall. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle with more pieces. It's more complicated. But Boltzmann said that even though it's highly unlikely, it's still possible for the gas to spontaneously arrange itself on one side of the container again. It's like the infinite monkey theorem. If you give a monkey enough time, he'll eventually type out a complete copy of Hamlet just by randomly hitting keys on a typewriter. So according to Boltzmann, the second law of thermodynamics isn't an absolute law. It's just a statistical one. In other words, it might be broken even though the probability is really small. Boltzmann's ideas were pretty controversial at the time, and he faced a lot of criticism and attacks. It's even thought that this contributed to his decision to commit suicide. After he died, they put Boltzmann's entropy formula on his tombstone as a tribute. Speaking of time, Einstein believed that it doesn't actually exist. It's just a way for us to measure the motion of objects. Everything in the universe is constantly moving, and there are no completely stationary particles. Time was born along with space at the moment of the Big Bang, which happened about 13.8 billion years ago. So according to Einstein, time and space are connected. If there's no time in a certain space, then there's no matter or energy there. And if there's just time without space, then there's no matter or energy to move through that time. So it doesn't really mean anything. Lastly, the concept of time is truly captivating and has inspired many scientists and thinkers to delve into its mysteries. From the possibility of time travel to the inevitable increase of entropy, the study of time is filled with exciting and mind-bending ideas. While we may never fully understand the full extent of time's complexity, the theories and concepts that have been proposed give us a glimpse into the fascinating world of time. So the next time you find yourself wondering about that arrow of time and the nature of time itself, just remember that there is still so much to discover and explore in this endlessly intriguing subject. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about the mysterious and fascinating concept of time. If you're interested in learning more, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging and educational content. Until next time.
Keep on pondering the mysteries of time.